As we continue on this housing theme, this week we are spotlighting Togol AI. This is a company that provides planning software widely used by housing and construction companies. Through the use of Togol AI's software, they help companies save time and money by expediting pre-construction tasks. Joining us now to discuss this is the CEO of Togol AI, Patrick Murphy. Patrick, uh, thank you for joining us on The Close. Talk thank us you. through what exactly this software does and who it benefits. Yeah, so this primarily benefits your builders and your subcontractors because the way the workflow is today, if you're going to build a new house, as your guest mentioned, or any building, you basically submit those plans to three, four, maybe five different builders. And then those builders go to numerous subcontractors to get bids. Well, how do they get a bid? They have to quantify everything that is in the building, how much drywall, how much paint, how many doors and windows, et cetera. And to do that, it's a manual process today, either using a mouse or a scale ruler. So we had the idea to use artificial intelligence to automate that process. So you upload the plans, cloud-based software, click a button, and within seconds, you're getting all of the quantities in a set of plans. So you're taking days, weeks, months of work, compressing it down to seconds and doing it with greater accuracy. So uh, it's a big leap forward for construction because this is a process that's repeated over and over because it's never just one plan, right? There's always revisions. Mm -hmm. There's always you know more and more people bidding on a job. And is this for residential or is this for commercial property or can it be applied to both? Uh, to both, yeah. In any vertical building, quite frankly, uh, we, we can process. And we, we've labeled tens and now hundreds of thousands of plans in a very unique manner. And this is you know, really one of the, the kind of issues with construction uh, is the fact that it's antiquated, right? Um, there's been numerous studies. McKinsey did one that showed that over the last 50 years, the uh, productivity has remained flat. In some cases, actually gone down in 50 years. So we have to start innovating. We have to bring new technologies. And there's a, a lot of nuance. There's a lot of detail in construction. So things like AI now that's in the market, that's now affordable, is able to process this information, the sheer mm -hmm. uh, amount of labeling we had to do. It took about three yeah. years to do the labeling. Well, Patrick, in terms of scaling up this business specifically, in a sector that to a certain extent is somewhat fragmented and not just fragmented in terms of types of companies but fragmented on a geographic basis as well here how do you bridge that gap in that fragmentation with something like this that not saying it's one size fits all but certainly provides a little bit more blanket approach Great question, and, and two approaches to that. Number one, since we are web-based, we have a collaboration tool where anybody can share their plans and see it live, just like you would on, say, Google Sheets, and everyone has different permissions. So whether that's the architect, the engineer, or hundreds of subcontractors that are often on a job, all seeing this information live. So that fragmentation all comes home to one place instead of emailing it. Number two is really, the, the, I think, the essence of your point, which is, Everything that's built is basically unique, right? Every building you see is kind of one of a kind. Imagine if every time you had to, you know, take your car out, you had to design it, figure out the, you know, size of the engine, the fuel tank, the ele electric, everything else. It wouldn't be feasible. But that's what we do in construction. We start from scratch every time. I believe in the next five years in construction, if you want to build a new building, you're going to have three inputs. You're going to input your address your budget and the style of construction and you're going to get a full set of working construction documents in a matter of seconds and this is the plumbing the electric the structure the entire plan and now you're taking a year or yeah. so of pre-construction and compressing that down to seconds I, I am curious too and i do want to just draw on your uh past uh or sh relatively short career that you had in congress you understand how washington works you understand policy public policy specifically how much is public policy needed whether at the federal level or at the state and local level to sort of address some of the issues that you're talking about today? It, it has to be addressed. And I am glad to hear uh, both presidential uh, candidates talking about it and putting some new you know, plans forward. Um, home ownership is part of the American dream, uh, but it's disappearing for far too many people. We have to make uh, it more affordable. We have to let more people get into that home ownership. And the rising cost of insurance in my state of Florida, we just had two devastating hurricanes hit us. I'm sure insurance is gonna go up again with continuing climate disasters. It's getting tougher and tougher, not to mention the fact land and yeah. construction costs are going up. So we need technology and Congress and, and policymakers can do a lot to address this. All right, Patrick, great stuff here. And we wish you the best of luck and hopefully you'll check back in with us uh, soon to give us uh, an update on how the business is going. Our next up segment here with the CEO of Togal AI, Patrick Murphy.